All right, you guys, this is Matt from M2 Elite Tactical. So I got some gun mail today, and uh, it's gonna be Strike Industries Improved Flat Face Trigger. Uh, I was super excited when I heard about this. I was just waiting for them to come out, and then I, I looked and I was like, oh man, I can order it finally. Um, this trigger works for Glocks one through four, not fifth gen. Um, and what this is, is it's just a trigger shoe. Take this out. So it comes in a little plastic bag, but I, of course, have opened and played with it already. Uh, you'll see your Strike Industries logo, some fine little font there. Uh, the safety is actually spring-loaded, so that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, and then you'll also receive a little Strike Industries card and then a warning label on there saying, you know, don't try and modify the safety or anything like that. Um, but in this second bag, you'll see a little Allen key and then a set screw. So I'll show you how easy this actually is to put in. Um, so what we need to punch out is this piece right here on the, tr the trigger shoe. Um, I actually took a Dremel to mine um, because I know I'm never gonna use that trigger. So what I did was I just Dremel till I seen the, the pin and then just pushed right through came out with these super simple um, and this is another trigger that I had laying around to be able to show you guys so I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put in you're gonna be shocked um, it'll take less than five minutes I would say so here is the trigger bar trigger housing for uh, Glock 17 Gen 4 open this up real quick Drop this stuff onto the table. And then you're gonna take this part of your trigger bar. It's gonna go right into here. And you'll be able to see it actually line up. Let me turn this so you guys can see it. You'll see it go right in there. And then what I did is I prepped my trigger or prepped my set screw. Right here, locks on there just fine. And then I'll take it. I'll kind of seat it in there. And I'll flip it over and then I should be able to just line this right up and see if I can do this sorry you guys it's late for me and put the set screw in though a little too far the first time. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'll feel it. And I'll lock it right in right now. Tighten it all the way up. That's it. All locked in already. So I'm gonna drop this back into the gun real quick. Here is my Glock 19 Gen 4. Pop this out here to make it a little easier. That drops in here. Trigger housing goes back here. Drop this right in here. And then put my pins back. Sorry, I keep trying to look through the camera lens and put this stuff back together when I should be looking just at the gun itself. Right. Sorry about that, I had a little technical difficulty. Um, so we're gonna slide this right in here. Make sure that that goes through. Anybody who's taken apart a Glock knows that this part is a little bit tricky sometimes. Make sure this goes all the way through at the sets. Sorry about this, I'm gonna take it off camera real quick.
and all good. Check and make sure everything works. Everything functions. Now we're gonna do a trigger test. Squeeze, hit the wall, break. Reset. Nice and smooth. And that's it. Pretty easy. I know I fumbled around a little bit. It's late. Once again, that is Strike Industries Improved Flat Face Trigger. My name is Matt from M2 Elite Tactical, and uh, you guys have a good night.